budgeters and savers, Chris Budgets here with an update on my May savings challenges. I wanted to share with you guys where I'm at. So it is the end of the week. It's Saturday. It's Saturday night. Um, and I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys what I have so far for my May savings challenges. Now I know you guys probably think I'm crazy. Like Chris, what are you doing? Like three challenges, three monthly challenges on top of your regular savings challenges. But I just wanted to say once again, you know, these challenges really are to push yourself, to pay that debt off, to fund that sinking fund, to pay for that vacation, to do whatever it is that you want to do, that you need to do to have that financial freedom that we're all looking for. So yes, I know it's a bit much. I, I agree. It is a bit much. I'm definitely stretching our coins thin, especially for a month where we have tons of activities and events going on, but I'm not about to miss out on a challenge or savings or life moments. I can do it all. Okay. I can do it both. I can do it. I can do whatever it is that I need to do. So I just wanted to share with you guys where I'm at so far. So first, I'm, I'm actually going to share with you guys how much I've saved for the Money Mayhem. And let me just move some of this stuff out of the way here. So for my Money Mayhem, if you guys follow me at Chris Budgets on Instagram, you guys know that I posted um, my update. So this is it. It's updated the same as it is on Instagram. And this is what we have so far. So we have two entries so far. Um, I did post something earlier this week send a budget bestie something in the mail so i am gonna send two of you guys something in the mail and i can't wait to for you guys to get it and open it um but first and foremost the post office has to open first so i can send it um yeah but i am excited about that it's just something small i don't want you guys to get too excited but it's definitely something fun um so i'm super excited to do that and this is what i have so far um works in healthcare nobody has hired me yet i need a job where i can work in healthcare as a part-time job and while i'm there i can read a finance related book you see i'm trying to do it all or i can open up a healthcare facility while i work there as a part-time job and also owner while i read a finance related book while i open a retirement sinking fund like this whole healthcare profession thing is just, it's not letting me be great, okay? It's not letting me be great, but I'm working on it. The next thing that I'm gonna try to check off is the Rita Finance related book. I've read so many that I really don't wanna like, I really don't wanna read anymore, but for the sake of this challenge, I might do an ebook or something like that. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with ebooks, I have a code for a free trial in my description. It's free, you can do it, I think, one to three months. Um, I just got to check. I got to check what the promo is now, but I love something for free. Just make sure you cancel it. You guys cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, so what I'm doing for these squares is I'm doing $5 per square. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wait, did I count this right? I'm sorry. I got to count this over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen squares. You know, I don't know why I didn't think I had that many squares. I don't even know if this was, I'm gonna have to count my money. So, 18 squares, and I'm doing fives. Um, so, I was stuffing, like, I was putting money aside as I went, and then I had to exchange some bills and stuff like that. Um, so let's see, so 18, let me, let me calculate this, you guys. So 18, so $90, okay. My hands are a little bit dry, but 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Okay, I did it. Okay, so we're on track. So $90 so far. So $90 so far with my money mayhem. And I try to, you know, stuff as I go. The next one that I wanted to share with you guys is the May challenge, the May flower challenge from Baddies and budgets and this is um if you guys don't know she's 
actually um, Oh My Fro Budgets on Instagram. So she does have like two different names on two different platforms, but you know, this is her business. Um, so, you know, I do want to make that type of differentiation. This is her business and the other one is her budgeting page as well. So if you guys don't know, make sure to follow her. Um, so, so far I did all of these and I only had May 2nd. Um, so I put $5 away for May 2nd. Now I do need to still do, um, these next few days because I haven't been keeping up. But what I have done, because today is the seventh and I still have to do like, so today's Friday, Thursday, I still have to do the fifth through the seventh. And so what I did with that is actually, I take a screenshot of the weather and I just get it all done. So let's see what we have. So this past Thursday, the 5th, was 81. I'm just gonna show you guys. Was 81. I don't know if you can see that. 81, and then we have Friday 63. And then Wednesday was 84. So this that's the numbers we're working with. So 81, oh, I'm sorry. So the numbers we're working with are 84, 81, and 63. So where is my, oh, here we go. So if you guys watch my previous video about my May savings challenges, you know that I got this from Walmart for $2 and yes, I still have the eight and yes, it did fall off. So I'm just going to keep it off. Um, so let's see. So again, it's 84, 81 and 63. So whatever, ooh, so whatever number I land on, three oh close so nothing for wednesday so nothing for wednesday and what is today i don't even know so wednesday was the fifth yep and then if if i get an eight or a one for 81 oh i get an eight so that's five dollars for the sixth let me just grab my highlighter And what I do is I actually just take it out from here. I don't care. But I have been forgetting to update my trackers. So $5 is gonna go into the May challenge envelope. And then last one, so it is 63. So if I get a six or a three, I'll have to put $5 in. Oh wait, let me just, that was kind of like a janky one. Oh, I get a three, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take another $5 out and I am gonna take that out of my food envelope. And by this time, all the envelopes are just empty, you guys. Okay, not all of them, but we have to go to the bank still and make a deposit, but. Perfect, so $5 for the seventh. And that brings us to $15 for this first week. And I am actually going to wait to do this second week um, so I can do a full. So I'm going to, again, take a screenshot of the weather from Sunday and on. And then on Wednesday, I get paid again and I'll be able to, you know, play this game again because I'm not going to be up here every day rolling my fake post-it dice. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. That's what works for me. So I do keep myself accountable by taking a screenshot of the weather. Um, so $15 so far in the May flower challenge. Now, because we played this and we didn't have anything left over, I don't have anything for the less spend savings challenge. So I thought I was I was gonna have something left over, but I don't. Um, so we'll have to wait until week two, um, which is gonna be a pay week for me 
to see um, what my paycheck is and how much I can not spend in those cash envelopes. Um, but that's it, you guys. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. I just wanted you guys to see how I'm doing my savings challenges for the month of May, um, what I've been up to. So this is what I've been doing. This is how I've been doing them. Um, and I've just been trying to keep myself accountable. Um, so if you guys have any questions, don't forget to scroll back to my previous videos for my first May savings challenge video where I explain how all of this works. Um, I'll have everything down in the description and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.